React 18 comes with a number of concurrent features that we can start using in our codebase as there is no need to be in something like a concurrent mode anymore. One such feature is the new use deferred value hook and that is exactly what we will cover in this lesson. So let's go. We start off with an empty React application and use the use state hook to create a value and a set value that will be wired to an input that the user can use to search through a list of products. Now our products component has its search term wired to this value and based on this value it will search through and return a massive list of filtered products. We can see this UI in action with our input component followed by the products component that is filtering based on the search term. However, because the products is a massive list, there is going to be a noticeable lag as we type characters into the input till the UI actually reacts. Now an ideal situation over here is that as the user types new keystrokes, they immediately reflect within the input element, but the list of items that is being rendered by the products component can be deferred till the user is no longer providing additional keystrokes. And this is exactly the thing that is solved by the use deferred value hook that comes with React 18. It is exported from the main React package and we bring it in just like we bring in the use state hook. The use deferred value hook takes a value and then returns a potentially stale value if the rendering has been interrupted because of something critical like a user event. And now instead of using the constantly updating value, we can use this potentially stale deferred value for searching within the list of products. And with this simple change in place, our application instantly performs much better we type a keystroke, we see that immediately within the input and the list updates as needed. Now because we are using deferred values, the user might be viewing stale data. Let me run through that recording again and pause when that is happening. So we are in the process of typing hello and you can see that we've typed a few characters but they haven't been picked up by the product list yet. Again a few more characters in and the product list is lagging. And it does eventually catch up when we stop typing. So a nice thing that you can do is to provide a visual indicator to our users that they might be looking at stale information. To determine if the deferred value is currently stale, we can do a simple check by comparing it against the original value. And if they are not equal, this means that the deferred value is currently stale and we can use this variable anyway within the UI to inform the user that they are dealing with stale data. For example, we can change the color of the text that the user is currently interacting with to let them know that the text has been accepted but hasn't been processed yet. At any point when React has completed all of its rendering, the text turns black. Now one more thing that I want to mention is that you might be used to providing your own durations when using something like throttling or debouncing, but you don't need to do that with use deferred value as React will automatically defer the value if there is some interrupted render that needs to happen. This means that you don't have to do some arbitrary maths yourself. Now there is a lot of other exciting stuff that has also come out with React 18. For example, here is a lesson dedicated to a change in strict mode that results in use effect getting called twice. Thank you for joining me. Smash the like and subscribe for more content like this. And I will see you in the next one.